Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about the 15 ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in September. I love my ebook hauls. I love going over them and just reading all the summaries so I can read them because it reminds me, like, oh, this one sounds good. I gotta go read it now. So I love my ebook hauls because it gives me an excuse to reread all of these summaries. <laughs> Most of these were free books that I ended up downloading. The first four that I'm gonna talk about are my Kindle Unlimited purchases. So let's get started. The first book that I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited is A 1% of You by Michelle Gross. Gross? I feel weird saying gross. It's not Michelle Gross, is it? <laughs> I hope not. I'm so sorry if it is. Anyway, this is on Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. Make no mistakes about it. I know what I look like to others. Young, government-aided, pregnant mom. They say Lucy on my hip and they see a mistake. I mean, why else would someone have a child so young, right? They couldn't be more wrong. I'm too busy most days between parenting, work, and finishing up my last year of nursing school to let their judging gaze tear me down until he moves into the vacant house next to the apartments I live in. His cold, blunt observation of us doesn't differ from any other stranger. He doesn't know me, but he's already painting a picture of who he thinks I am in his mind. He judges my very round belly, Lucy's inability to leave him alone, the bags under my eyes, and the fact I couldn't care less about what I look like anymore. He's a rude guy stays that way for months too then something happens i'm not sure what judgmental guy decides lucy and me as well as baby eli are worth his friendship turns out judgmental guy isn't to me okay he kind of still is but he graduates to elijah i build an unlikely friendship with him which means it is necessary for him to start smiling around me and my kids i'm wrong again elijah isn't rude he's terrifying his strange acts of kindness are unraveling me. Elijah is my only friend, right? Oh fudge, I think I'm wrong again. So this is a single mom slow burn romance. The cover gripped me, obviously. I think I got it off of a uh, Instagram post from somebody and it just looks really good. Next is Hold by Claire Kent. I got this recommendation from one of the girls that I follow on TikTok. Um, and I think some of my other friends have talked about it too. I've really talked about Claire Kent, so I'm really interested in her books. This one is on Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $3.99. Find the strongest man there. Give yourself to him in return for protection. It's the only way you'll ever survive. Convicted of a minor crime, Rihanna is sentenced to a prison planet, a dark primitive hold filled with convicts vying for power. Her only chance for survival is with Kane, a mysterious loner who has won his territory in the prison through intelligence and brute strength. She only has one thing to offer, so she uses it. She's under no delusions here. No one is ever released and no one ever escapes. Survival is all she can hope for until Kane. Then I finally decided to pick up the series that has been in my horizon for forever. Okay, I finally downloaded The Lady and the Orc by Finley Fenn. Okay, this is an orc series. The Orc Sworn series are seven books in it. I have been wanting to read it for forever. It is everywhere in the monster world, monster romance world, and I have not read it yet, so it needs to happen. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $2.99. In a world of warring orcs and men, Lady Noor is condemned to a childless marriage, a cruel lord husband, and a life of genteel poverty until the day her home is ransacked by a horde. And leading the charge is their hulking deadly orc captain the infamous Grimar. And Grimar has a wicked plan for Lady Nor and for ending this war once and for all. She is going to become his captive and the perfect snare for Lord Nor. There is no possible escape and soon Lady Nor is dragged off towards Orc Mountain in the powerful arms of her greatest enemy, a ruthless commanding warlord with a velvet voice and mouth-watering scent who awakens her every forbidden hunger she ever knew she had. But Grimar refuses to accept half measures in war or in pleasure. And before he'll conquer Lady Nor's deepest, darkest desires, she needs to surrender everything. Her allegiance, her wedding ring, her future. And with her husband's forces giving chase, Lady Nor can't afford to play such a dangerous game. Or can she? Even if this deadly orc's plans might be the only way to save them all. This series has been just like on my brain for forever and I finally need to get to it because I have FOMO with it because all of my monster romance girlies love this series. And the last book that I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited was Artek by Honey Phillips. 
This is the first book in the Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series. I've watched the musical for Seven Brides for Seven Brothers and so I was like this is funny. A play on words based on kind of like maybe the musical and I've never read a Honey Phillips and I know she writes a lot of alien romances so I, so I picked this one up to try and get started into her books. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. Can a marriage of convenience between an alien rancher and the town spinster become something more? Worn down by war and conflict, Commander Artek and his brothers, the soldiers under his command, have chosen to start a new life on a backwater planet. As hard work and peaceful surroundings start to heal old wounds, he realizes something, or rather someone, is missing from his new life. None of the other human females in the small town or on the other side of the mountains appeal to him except for the shopkeeper's daughter. She's smart, sensible, and disturbingly attractive despite her shapeless clothes and brusque manner. Although Nellie is rapidly turning into the town spinster, she'd rather be alone than married to one of the local bumpkins. But when one of the mysterious aliens who have taken up a residence in the mountains behind the town proposes a union, she sees the chance for her new future. He's big and gruff, but treats her as if she's precious. But a whirlwind courtship and a hasty marriage are only the beginning. Can two people who know nothing about each other possibly find happiness together? This just sounds so cute and it's only like 150 pages. Now we're gonna get into the books that I ended up finding for free last month. The first one being Beneath the Stars by Emily McIntyre. This is available to now download off of Kindle Unlimited or purchase it for $2.99. Alina. When I was 11, I met Chase Adams. I loved him before I knew what loving was. I pulled, he pushed, I gave, he took. I loved, I lost. Now he's back, all grown up. But things changed while he was gone. So he can show those dimples and flex all those muscles he wants. It won't change a thing. Chase Adams is nothing but a lost memory. I'll do everything I can to keep him that way. Chase. Growing up, there were only two women I ever loved. Neither of them really loved me back. Until her. Alina. My Goldie. She was everything that's good and I was the bad. She was the brightest star. I was the black hole shredding her into pieces. I loved her wrong, losing her to my demons. But now I'm back a better man. I'll do everything I can to make her remember us, even if all she wants is to forget. Next, Run Posey Run by Casey Wells was free for a very short time and I immediately snagged it up because I know my friends love this book. Um, this is now available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. Posey. When I fell for Dario Velo Velope, Velope, oh my gosh, I'm really bad with names, I apologize. Um, I thought he was Prince Charming and I was the luckiest girl alive. He didn't care about my past, the talk, the stain on my family's reputation. Then he saw something I never wanted anyone to see. He cares now. This isn't a breakup, this is a warning shot. And if I get out of this bad romance alive, I have to run and never look back. Dario is no storybook hero. He's a psychopath and he can't decide, kiss me or kill me. Dario, I'm the man behind the curtain, the power behind the throne. I could have killed her and no one would have blinked an eye. Posey Santiago isn't exactly a mafia princess. No one sees her as clearly as I can, the perfect mind hidden by that knockout body in the tight dress. I made a mistake running her off, but now I get to play one of my favorite games. Posey can run, but she isn't made to be free. She's made for me. And when I catch her, game over. <laughs> I'm so excited to read this one. Next, I downloaded My Cone and Only, <laughs> a small town brother's best friend romance by Susanna Nix. This is not free anymore, but you could purchase it for $4.99. Wyatt King isn't looking for love because he's already found it. Too bad she's off limits. He's not going to be the jerk who messes around with his best friend's little sister, so he keeps his feelings bottled up and settles for acting as her protector instead. Andy Lockhart's dreamed of kissing Wyatt for as long as she's known what kissing is, but since he's dated nearly every woman in town but her, she's long since accepted he'll never see her as anything more than her than his best friend's tomboy little sister. When a real estate developer threatens the beloved old house Andy inherited from his grandmother, her white knight Wyatt scoops in with his handyman skills to save the day, but the more time they spend working on the house together, the harder it becomes to ignore their irresistible attraction. Until the night an accidental kiss blows the lid off those feelings they've both kept buried. After that, things between them get hotter and a lot more complicated. Forbidden love, broken promises, family secrets, and jealousy all threaten to tear them apart. If he intends to hold on to the woman he loves, Wyatt will have to put everything 
on the line. Next, I downloaded Leprechaun by Julie Sue Burkhart. I'm not gonna read the summary for this one because I simply downloaded it because it was book two in this series, the Her Irish Treasure series. Um, and I own book one. So I was like, what, this is free? Why not just download it, it's book two. So this is all Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. Um, but this is like a Her Irish Treasures series and I know nothing about it, but I do like Joey Super cards. So next is Faded Binds by S.I. Hayes. This is now available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. Vampire Prince falls in love with raven haired beauty from afar. Scratch that. This is not your mama's paranormal romance. At Gregory University, there's a different kind of student body, the deviant class. They are the things that kept you awake in the night, the dreams that held you close. From the vampires to dragonborn, pure bloods and half, there is tension as they push into the laps of human society. Tegan Teague is a vampire lord, a prince amongst his kind, and the integration in his project are all going well until he is blindsided by a woman. <laughs> then this one I just had to get because it sounded totally bizarre. Okay, and I read weird romances, okay? I do. This is Squeak by Vera Valentine. <laughs> this was free, okay, at the time. Now it's on Kendall Munson or you can purchase it for 99 cents. But this is apparently a romance <laughs> between like, a human and a shifter. And the shifter can't shift into an animal. <laughs> he shifts into a balloon animal. This just sounded so bizarre. I needed it. So I got it. Next is Not Happy Campers by Ash Keller. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. The only thing worse than being stuck in an RV with your enemy, having to pretend you're madly in love. Lance Blakeman is an up and coming literary agent with a chance to represent the biggest horror writer since Stephen King. Unfortunately, the client doesn't want to work with a bachelor. Lance needs a fiance fast. Lainey Fredrickson is a struggling artist making ends meet by waitressing at a local diner, or she had been, until pretty boy Lance got her fired for accidentally spilling beer on him. The way he carried on, you'd think she had deliberately doused him with radioactive waste. Now she has exactly $4.23 to her name, not enough for an ice latte, let alone rent. When Lance offers Lainey cash to pose as his fiance, she can't afford to say no, even if it means spending a week in a cramped RV with him. But can they fool the clients without fooling themselves? There's a fine line between love and hate. And with kisses this sweet, the line is bound to get blurred. This looks so cute, y'all. It looks so cute. Then I downloaded Could Have Been Us, by Camilla Evergreen. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. It's all fun and games until my best friend starts dating someone who isn't me. This story starts when my best friend Tanner takes having a girlfriend to completely ignoring me fast enough to give me whiplash. Making matters worse, while I'm recovering from said whiplash, some guy in leather ruins my life by stealing my parking spot in front of my favorite bookstore. Making matters unbelievable, Leather Motorcycle Man is the new editor where I work, my new boss, and the only thing now standing between me and being able to publish my book. Talk about bad luck. I hate him. He can't stand me. My sister won't stop believing this is our enemies to lovers. Sweet and sassy small town romance, 70,000 word confirmed H-E-A. Trust me, I loathe saying it, but if this guy keeps sneaking himself into the heart Tanner is vacating, my sister might just be right. Cyprian Douglas, affectionately Shane, makes me want more than 70,000 words. If he can promise me a never ending series, I might forgive him for taking my parking spot. If he can't, I'll never forgive him for taking my heart. I then downloaded The Villain by Victoria Vale. This is a dark Regency romance. This is not free anymore, fortunately, but you can purchase it for $3.99. This is apparently the first book in a duology that is set in the wilds of Scotland. Daphne Fairchild braves the journey from London to the wilds of Scotland alone with one purpose in mind. Confront the man who purposefully and methodically set out to ruin the men in her family. But what he demands in exchange for answers will thrust Daphne into a world of mystery, hatred, and lust. 30 days and nights in the bed of the Earl of Hartmore 
is the price she must pay to learn the truth about the Dark Lord's vendetta against her family. Yet, when she accepts the offer, Daphne never expects to find that nothing is what she thought it was, and the truth proves far harder to stomach than she ever imagined. Even as he uses her to exact his final revenge against her family, Daphne cannot deny the way her body reacts to his touch, the way her soul seems to become more intertwined with his by the day. Despite the ruin he has made for her life, she cannot escape that the threads of deceit, desire, and pain have tied them together irrevocably. With her fate now in his hands, she is uncertain whether he will turn out to be the hero who steals her heart or the villain who destroys her soul. Then I have Divine Blood by Beck Michaels. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99. The shadow demon nearly took everything from Denala, Denalia, Denal, Denalia, Denalia. <laughs> the shadow demon nearly took everything from Denalia Astron and it would soon return for more. When she discovers a way to fight back, she must go on a perilous journey to risk it all for those she holds dear. Along the way, she meets Cassiel, a celestial prince with blood magic and wings as black as his heart. He wants nothing to do with Dinah until he learns she could lead him to a place he has been searching for all of his life. But reaching their destination is not as easy as they thought, nor are they the only ones searching for it. With danger at every turn and harrowing secrets between them, the quest will require much more than determination. They must fight for what they desire or die trying. And the last book that I ended up downloading in September is Unloved by Kate Regnery. I've heard some of my friends talk about this book and I read a Kate Regnery book and really liked it. So I decided to pick this one up. My name is Cassidy Porter. My fall, Paul Isaac Porter was convicted 20 years ago for the brutal murder of a dozen innocent girls. Though I was only eight years old at the time, I am aware every day of my life that I am his child, his only son. To protect the world from the poison in my veins, I live a quiet life off the grid away from humanity. I promise myself and my mother not to infect innocent lives with the darkness that swirls within me, waiting to make itself known. It's a promise I would have kept if Bryn hadn't stumbled into my life. Now I exist between heaven and hell, falling for a woman who wants to love me, while all along reminding myself that I must remain unloved. So there you have it. Those are all 15 books that I ended up downloading last month in September. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, leave me a white heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.